So today this video goes out to all of you guys who say it's hard to make gold. No, it's not hard to make gold. It's time consuming, yes, but it's not hard to make gold. So how about we jump right into it? So let's take a look at my mailbox. Let me take my expired auctions. So I have made 450k gold in 2 hours from just selling from the things I have stored. So this is only possible because of the region wide auction house. So even though I'm on a, on a low pop server right now, I can still make 450k gold from just go out and gathering. Okay, let's take a look at what I am actually farming, what I'm actually gathering. So currently I'm gathering serenade ore and titanium ores, which can be found in Winter Grasp, in Northrend, which I have shown you on the map right now. And what you want to do is you currently just want to follow the route I'm showing with my mouse all the way around the edge. Next up, Twilight Jasmine. Twilight Jasmine can be found in Twilight Highlands. Same principle goes, you just slide around in a circle around the edge of the map and then you herb and mine everything you see. Currently, mining and herbing is a very solid way to make gold. It's one of the easiest ways to make gold. It's probably not the best way to make gold, but it's one of the easiest ways to make gold. You want to do this in a druid because then you don't have to mount all the time. You can just switch to travel form. Then we have some Legion Flowers from High Mountain. Legion flowers from Stormheim, and then we have some Shadowland Source. Blow of the Mountains is from Mountain Core, which is used for Transmogs. We have some more Legion Herbs, some Materials, which will come later. We have some Shadowland Source, we have some Shadowland Herbs, we have some Cataclysm stuff. All this stuff so far is only from Herping and Mining. Now we come to something different. This doesn't require professions, these bones can be found in Isles of the Giants. Basically you just want to go around and kill every mob you see, which can drop 20 to 30 bones each. When you have 10 stacks of bones, you get a mount. A stack of bones is 99 and can be sold on the auction house. Let's see where it gets interesting. Ah yes, the Arcan Crystal sells for around 200 to 250 gold a piece. These takes a bit longer to farm. But again, it's easy gold, not fast gold. These crystals can be found in Silithus, where you just want to fly around the edges of the zone and mine everything you see. This farm is only for mining, because the herbs are so useless that it's not worth picking up. Every Horium ore you mine has 10% chance to drop an Arcan Crystal. Sometimes you get none, sometimes you get up to 2 per ore, if you are lucky. If you have competition in Silithus, you can go to Wintergrass, fly around the edges of the map, like shown. We have some primals, which we are getting from just mining in Outerland, which we get to later. Horizon Peace Pipe is a reputation token, which increases the rep with every faction in Pandaria with 1k rep. This pipe can be found in Kunlai Summit, in Pandaria, close to Shelf Anger, which has an increased drop chance for mounts. So if you're there anyway, you might be a good idea to pick up this NPC. This NPC is a monkey and can be found in one of four caves. Felanor can be mined in Outland, more specific Terraka Forest, where you again just fly around the edge of the zone and just mine everything. You can farm this in Netherstorm and Nagrand as well. In Nagrand you combine this farm with Corimor farm as well. Corim is a rare ore in Outland which sells for a lot. This farm can be done as 10-man group and you just call and wait running if you find a node and then everyone gathers around the node and mines it at the same time. This farm is kept at 10 people because only 10 people can mine one node. We have some more titanium ore. Some more legionors. Ah, yeah, we have some primal fire, which can be found in Outland, Hellfire Peninsula, in front of Kaldjaden. I wouldn't explain this any further. I've already made a previous guide on this farm, so I will link the video in the description below. So go check the farm if you're interested in this. Then we have some cobalt ore, which can be found in Northrend again, more specific in Howling Fjord, where I usually farm it. Again, fly around the edge and just follow my route here. Then we have some more serenade ore. We have some ghost iron ore. Okay, let's kill a few of the males so I can at least check my last 20 males. Here we have some altar life, which is basically is given to you randomly when you're herbing Cataclysm Zone. We have some Legion ores, basically just go around and mine everything. Laystone is the most common of the two ores in Legion. Spirit of Harmony is found by getting Mode of Harmony, which drops random from mobs in Pandaria. So let's see my total profit. Just remember, I didn't gather all this in one day. It's just to show you how quick you can get some fast gold. I put all this in the auction house, and after two hours, everything had sold. So my total profit is 450k gold. I didn't invest anything into professions. This is gold I just gathered from herping and mining, and a few extra things from killing stuff. Would I be picking herping and mining while leveling in Dragonflight? Yes, definitely. It's one of the easiest ways to get some free gold while leveling. Don't have to go out of your way to make gold. Just gather the notes you see on your way to your next quest. I will guarantee you this will make you at least 10k gold before you hit level 70. It could be a lot more. Why would I not do this on a druid? Because the dragon isles, the dragon riding will be so much faster than regular mounts. And in each professions, you get talent points as well when you level them up. One of the talents is you can gather while mounted on your dragon. So every class is sufficient gatherers now. You don't need to have a to get, have gathering profession. That's it for me today. Remember to leave a like on the video if you liked it. It means the world to me. And thanks for watching. And remember to invoke the wrath.